name Andrew Coulter. I'm from OMA and I recently graduated from the BNG in Engineer. The college was great, uh, plenty of support and help with what I was doing with the coursework. I think the college was a little bit less stressful than going to uni for the full four years. It was a very big thing to go back to, to education at my age. It's never too late and you'll always meet some lovely people on your journey as well. In the future I could open my own daycare, you know, after school or something like that. Graduation is one of those days in the year that you always look forward to as you, you know, we're familiar with students and we work with students on their journey, be it one, two, three years, and to see it come to fruition and students get the opportunity to join with their lecturers and their peers. The celebration of success and the marking of their achievement is fantastic. As, as I say, one of the best days in the year, something we look forward to, and it's always important. Um, students have worked very hard and often through very trying and challenging times, but it's important to reward their efforts and, and celebrate success with them. My name is Stephen Quinn and I'm from Arbo um, and I've graduated in my foundation degree in some nights here today. Oh, it's been fantastic. It's past two and a half years I don't mind part-time. It's what allowed me to work and study alongside each other. Everything's just worked into my just worked in well into what I've wanted. I feel a lot more confident now for if there's jobs comes up, you know, promotion, you know, in, in the management side, whereas beforehand, like, you never would have thought of it, like, because of now you haven't done this, you know a lot about consumer law, how to run a workshop, how to, you know, how to manage people, all them sorts of things. It gives you more confidence now just to know what to do if, and to make the step forward, you know. I've always been interested in sport and um, I've done the level three in Enniskillen and took a gap year and then realised that sport's something I'm interested in and coaching as well so I um, went back for the level four and level five and um, taking a gap year at the minute so coaching at Ballam Allard um, so um, just getting experience in coaching and um, going back through my final year in September to get my degree. It was much better to come to college because I was still able to keep on the job and study the degree part time, so it was a better option for me. Yeah. Yeah, deadlines were set. You did the work. If you had any queries, they were happy enough to get on to you. There was email, phone call, in class. For me, I've been out of study for a long time. So it was just a nice option for me to get back into it again rather than going to university and come here to college, yeah. This is the second graduation I've been at um, and all the work that went in behind back to, to produce today is impressive. Somebody had to said to me a couple of years ago or, you know, three years ago, but I'd be doing this, that I would have achieved this, I would, I would have laughed at them like I didn't think I would ever have done it. And again, as Luke said, like the with COVID and everything, the first year, like it was all, a lot of it was done from home. And what the support and stuff from the teachers and actors was unbelievable. Like, and then the second year, thankfully, we went back in and it was just, it was just a great achievement to get here. Like, didn't think it would ever happen. And I'm delighted to be here today to celebrate with all the graduates that are coming along today to this wonderful ceremony. Um, it's amazing to be part of it and I'm going to talk about the importance of education being a lifelong journey and also how wonderful it is to have it locally and the opportunities that it is creating for us now especially um, with technology and being able to, to broaden our horizons using our education and buildings locally. Thank you.